When you start searching for something on Google, you start getting prompts of the keyword while you are keying in your query. For example, if you have typed how to, you are unlikely to get any random suggestion. For example, if you have been searching for travel related data, you might be prompted to search for how to do web check-in. If you don't have a history of looking for health related information, you are unlikely to be prompted to search for how to lose weight in a week. If you look for something on Google, on coming to Facebook, you are likely to find page or event recommendations on the topic. Now, of course, you wouldn't expect a human being employed by Google or Facebook who is entrusted with the responsibility to track your movement on the internet and hardcore prompts on recommendations. So who does it then? The system itself. Empowered with the ability to learn on its own, which is how machine learning works. A core sub area of artificial intelligence, machine learning enables computers to use new data independently without being programmed for each instance. When exposed to new data, these computer programs are enabled to learn, grow, change and develop by themselves. Where else is the concept of machine learning used? In consumer applications, real-time ads, on web pages and mobile apps, email spam filtering, network intrusion detection, and pattern and image recognition by using machine learning to analyze huge volumes of data. In enterprise applications, customer relationship management CRM, they analyze email and prompt sales team members to address the most important messages first. More advanced systems exist that can even suggest potentially effective responses. Business intelligence systems or BI use machine learning to automatically identify potentially important data points. In human resources or HR, machine learning is used to identify characteristics of effective employees and use this knowledge to search for the best applicants for open positions. Machine learning recommends real-time smart alternatives to analyze huge volumes of heterogeneous data. Now that you're getting introduced to ML, let's define what you can expect to achieve in this module. You will get a basic understanding of machine learning, understand the types of machine learning, understand the concepts of classification and regression. And in order to do this, you need to write code in Python using scikit-learn library. So you will get an overview of scikit-learn library. You will be able to apply linear regression to business cases, also logistic regression and decision tree. And then you will also learn about support vector machines and how to apply them in business cases. And finally, you will understand how to deploy machine learning models after training them, which is a critical piece of the whole process. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Do like the video and share it and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And check out the exclusive coupon codes for our YouTube learners in the description below and visit manipalprolearn.com to redeem them.